you are at Fields of the Wood Park in Murphy, North Carolina, and we welcome thousands of visitors every year to come see mainly what's behind me, Ten Commandment Mountain, the largest Ten Commandments in the world. Fields of the Wood is managed by Heritage Ministries, a department of the Church of God of Prophecy. This beautiful, biblical outdoor theme park is located on more than 200 acres of land in the foothills of the Great Smoky Mountains. Yeah, what you're looking at is four by five letters behind me. In the early 40s, they poured all of the letters at the top of the mountain. They built wooden rails, and after pouring them and letting them harden, they would let them slide down the rails into place, and once they were there, they're there. A huge undertaking in the 1940s with a price tag of about $1.5 million. That equates to about $23 million today, but for the church, there was no questions about its value. Our people wanted to mark, back in the early 40s, the Church of God of Prophecy, who owns the land now, wanted to mark some prominent places in their history. And so this is one of the places where they considered the birthplace of our church. The leader, A.J. Tomlinson, was on this property when he prayed and God heard from God that he needed to join a certain small group of believers just down the road and it has since grown into well over several million across the globe. That worldwide reach is marked by the All Nations Cross, 150 feet long and 115 feet wide, flying the flags of each country this church reaches. Lots of people come in from around the world, uh, actually, and, and movements, denominations, whatever you're part of in whatever belief system, they come here and they find peace and uh, that's a very important thing in today's world. It's hard to find no matter where you go. And so a lot of people who come here and reflect and ponder and pray, they tend to come back because they find a very special experience here. From Prayer Mountain to the replica of Jesus' tomb to the All Nations Cross and the Ten Commandments, these monuments stand as a visual reminder of something very important to the Church of God of Prophecy. All of these things show that for the last hundred and some years in this area and in the church as a whole, God has been faithful. So we're excited to, to share that story at this place.